you describe it as rather disdainful, said, you know, when you travel abroad, how do you go? A plane, of course. And he says, what happens is, and he starts, and he, and he just, just describes it graphically. He says, the plane takes off, it then goes along for a long time, and then comes down. Amazing. He said, now when you go on this plane, you're not interested on the engineering or the mechanics. All you are interested in is from the place you leave and arriving to, the, to your destination. In other words, you leave it to the captain. You leave it to the professional. Boys, I've heard you, very nice public diplomacy, but you guys are not the professionals. Leave it to us. Well, over the last three years, TBT has been watching these so-called professionals, and I think everybody in this room needs a parachute. <laughs> so, at the conference last week in Haifa, which Irwin was there, um, one of the comments that really resonated with me was from one of the panelists who said the following. The problem is that the government does not realize there's a problem. Quite simple. So my question to you guys now is, what is your understanding now, tachlis wise in terms of the government, public diplomacy, what they're doing, what they are not doing, what should we be doing, is it impossible for them to do, are they very good at stamping passports and organizing visas and that's about it, and maybe bilateral trade with countries, but in the area of public diplomacy, is it actually beyond them? I mean, you, um, Steve, cited that Bibi is a brilliant guy, very articulate, very erudite, and yet when it comes to this particular area, fall short. Are they capable? Where do we go from here? As Henry would say in Latin, quo vadis. Boys, who wants to kick off? Yeah, I'm being a gentleman just because I don't want to go off there. Look, I've said my thing. I just wanted to firstly say, uh, again, what an honor it is to be among uh, you tonight. And thank you so much for coming and caring as uh, as Morris cared. I'm digging a BB, I'm evading the question. <laughs> no, I don't know if you all heard, but Michael Oren the other day uh, proposed what he called an Iron Dome Hasbara policy. Uh, I, I think Israel has shown that in just about every field we choose to enter, we can excel. From high tech to cyber to water irrigation to the military. So why can't we excel in this sphere too? I think we can. It's just a matter of investing the right uh, resources and uh, choosing the right people and uh, doing it. Uh, and I think um, that Morris would say, Zichronoli <laughs> Bracha, uh, Morris would say, uh, this is more important than anything else. More important than anything else. Okay.